Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Vangelis, and thanks to Madhouse Toys, I'm taking a look at their joint TFCon exclusive piece that came out in tandem with Toy Dojo and Ages 3 and Up. This is Adder, a very cobrified recolor of the Target Master that's going to come with X Transbots and Drass. He's kind of like a preview for that release, showing what X Transbots is planning to do with the Target Master in the proxy masterpiece space. You're probably noticing how intensely blue this guy's body is. Well, if you picked him up at the show, you should also have entirely separately received an entirely unrelated sticker sheet that happens to add some extra detail to Adder's body and break up the sea of solid blue plastic. There are also a bevy of optional insignia stickers, so go nuts or go subtle, whatever's your pleasure. Anyway, Adder looks like a boss. A former member of some terrorist group with the acronym of Viper, he's got some cobra-ass cobra colors going on. The body sculpt is intense, with a respectable amount of surface detail and some killer pectoral vents. And the proportions are gorgeous! He's not Target Master Stumpy in the least, and looks about as athletic as a broken terrorist in a cybernetic body could hope to look. The head sculpt is nicely thuggish and goggled with somewhat muddy red paint on the face and incredibly sharp yellow paint on the optics. For such a little guy, Adder's got a decent amount of posability. His head is on a straight left-right swivel. His entire arm assemblies are connected via these kind of rotate your shoulder, get ready to punch a dude in the face ball socket joints, but then the inside of the shoulder block has its own slightly buttery detented joint, which is super damn solid. So you got a whole lot of like shrug and, uh, and motion going on in here. His elbows are double jointed, so he's got full curl. And unfortunately, he has no bicep swivel, and if I could add one joint to this guy, it would be a bicep swivel. I think it would finish him off super nicely. There's no waist swivel either, but that's partly because he's got like a gun handle running from his crotch up to his neck, so I can excuse that. He's got ball jointed hips with a lot of range. Uh, the ball socket joints are like just slightly loose here. Uh, there's a, a little bit more glide than I'd like, and I'm expecting I'm, I may have to future those up in, uh, future. <laughs> uh, he's got ball-jointed knees, which also mean, uh, that he's got a thigh swivel, uh, implied. And it's, uh, pretty deep because, you know, it's a hollow shin, so you can get his whole leg in there if you want, so you can totally get some tiger knee action going on. Uh, his feet can, uh, you know, do this, which can help with stability. You know, the heel is separate from the toe, so you can, uh, you know, get him placed in positions like thus, then push the heel down to keep him uh, balanced a bit better. But the cool extra touch of posability in here is that there's an ankle tilt, very small one, it's got a dedicated rivet, or pin, and it's just, you know, just a little bit, but it's just enough to do something. And uh, also, the ball socket joints in his knees have a little bit of side to side, which can add a little bit of dynamicism if you want some dynamicism in your poserism. So this guy is, despite lacking a waist joint or bicep swivels, he is really characterfully and emotively posable. Like, he always looks like he's getting ready to do something that would get a full panel splash in a comic book page, for instance. And uh, I kind of like that on a Target Master. So uh, as far as, like, just having a little robot dude to play with who scales decently as a tiny partner to Masterpiece toys, I have a lot of fun posing him. And, like, he's small, he's light. He can take a hurl, he can take a tumble, but I won't do that too much because he's got stickers on him, I don't want to scratch him. They're, they're nice stickers. Don't, don't scratch the stickers. A whole lot starts happening as this guy transforms into a gun. His arms curl up, his torso folds at two separate points to zigzag his spine and allow his legs to fold up into the rear meat of the alt mode, but then it all kind of stops. His legs tab together, but otherwise nothing actually locks into place, and it causes the gun mode to have a very disappointing level of tactile squish and non-solidity. It feels like the arms are supposed to do something else, but nada. Anyway, the shape of the gun is fine, as long as you don't grip it too hard or anything. It looks a lot like a Target Master weapon, but jeez! Aside from his curled arms just sitting there, Adder's head is trying very hard to ask you to very nicely stop looking at it, please! as the face is wholly visible despite trying to nestle in amongst the folded parts mass in the center of the gun. The handle is a Masterpiece compatible handle with tabs on either side to match up with the often present palm slots on most Masterpiece and Proxy Masterpiece figures. The results are variable. Adder sits happily in exhaust grip, while G2 Sideswipe never quite gets a solid handle on him. The bottom of the grip also happens to be 5mm wide, which allows it to 
potentially work with many regular Transformers, unofficial or otherwise. Again, your mileage will vary immensely, as this is not a full-on peg so much as a slat that can grip inside a 5mm peg hole if all the geometry plays nice. Adder is a really fun little robot toy. That is where he shines, from his sculpt and proportions to his personality-filled posability, despite a couple of small limitations like a lack of bicep swivels. But man, his gun mode leaves so much to be desired. It hardly holds together in a frustrating and tabless way that feels straight up unfinished. I really hope Andras's packed-in partner gets a few stability upgrades before moving into full production. On the bright side, the build quality is definitely stepped up since the last time I messed around with X-Transbot's wares. I'd heard about big QC improvements with Apollyon, in the context of X-Transbot's usual releases before then, and this little guy lives up to that hype. What I'm implying between the lines is I haven't actually played with an Apollyon besides posing Hard Returns Apollyon's right arm to see what the shoulders feel like. Anyway, the G.I. Joe-styled Cobra tie-ins are cute enough to connect with me. I dig the idea of a free agent target master that was once a man. Yeah, that was pretty terrible. Adder's got his ups and downs, but as a convention floor purchase, I feel alright with him. His gun mode is intensely flawed, but his robot mode's a lot of fun, and if you get a sticker sheet with him, he looks wonderful. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Evangelist, and I hope this video's helped you ponder upon this little man of blue. It looks like he's available online from the relevant retailers called out on his box now that TFCon 2015's come and gone. I have no idea how many adders remain unsold, so... I don't know, if you're worried, send someone an email and ask! COMMUNICATE!